Welcome to this new tutorial offered to you by LearnElectronics.org. In this tutorial you will learn how to write MATLANG scripts in system view. Create a blank project and delete the default data flow analysis. Give a name to the schematic. For example, you can call it MATLANG. Add a new data flow analysis to the project. Edit the analysis properties. Click Accept to close the data flow analysis window. Look for the sine wave generator in the algorithm design library. Then drag and drop the model symbol in the schematic sheet. Look for the math language part model. Then drag and drop the model symbol in the schematic. Connect the math language part to the sine wave generator. Look for the data sync model. Then drag and drop the model symbol in the schematic. Connect the data sync to the math language part. Click on the math language part to edit its properties. Select the equations tab to use the equation editor and write a simple program to test the model. This simple if-else statement checks the sign of the variable x. If x is negative, the program returns the absolute value of x, and assigns this value to a new variable y. Else, if x is non-negative the program returns, into the variable y, twice the value of x. However, you have to map the variables x and y into the input and output of the model. To do this, you have to select the I.O. tab. Variable mapping is straightforward. It is evident that the variables in the logic condition and those on the right-hand side of an assignment expression must be mapped into the inputs of the model. On the contrary, the variables on the left-hand side of an assignment expression must be mapped into the outputs of the model. Finally, click OK to close the properties window. Run the analysis. Then add a new graph to the workspace tree. 
Choose time as the type of series. Check the S2 checkbox of the data set to plot the simulation data collected by DataSync S2. Then click OK to close the graph series wizard. Then edit the graph properties and assign a name and a title to the graph. Finally, click OK to close the properties window. Observe the simulation result. The graph depicts exactly the behavior described by the program we wrote previously. You may want to change the project name. To do this, you have to save the project with the name you want using the Save As option. For example, you can call your project Demo Math. Finally, click the Save button to apply all the changes and save the project. Thank you for watching. Bookmark www.learnelectronics.org in your browser and check the website periodically for new free material. Don't forget to follow Learn Electronics and the social networks. Please support Learn Electronics with a donation, a Facebook like, a plus one on Google Plus or a tweet to your friend.